You guys are all queens. You just not the mother queen. What's good? What's poppin', my boldies? It's your boy Remy from That So Bold. And look, y'all already know what I'ma say. I got some tea and I've been waiting to share it. So let's just get right to it. Ciao. A lot has been going on. And I don't want to waste y'all time, so let's just get right into it. So y'all, apparently Normani is being sabotaged. A lot of Normani fans and Cardi B fans pointed out that Wildside was taken off of Apple Music and wasn't available to stream. So a lot of people were wondering, are people out to get Normani? Is she really being sabotaged? And y'all know these fans peep everything. So a fan tweeted that Wildside was not available on a numerous of streaming platforms. Now y'all, the fan did leave a screenshot below showing that it indeed was not available to be streamed. But the fan also noticed that not only was the song blocked on Apple Music, but it was also blocked on Tidal and TikTok too. But check this y'all, a lot of other fan bases don't believe this theory. A lot of people feel like this is just another form of sympathy and payola to build hype around Normani and bring attention to the song Wild Side. And y'all, I really don't know what to believe because although others are able to show them not being able to stream the song in their country, a lot of other people are saying that they've been able to listen to it the whole time. So is this really another form of sympathy and payola or could it indeed be a technical difficulty or someone in the background trying to sabotage them? And I already know because I said that. A lot of the Cardi B fans are going to come in the comments and say, Nikki, Nikki's behind it. Nikki did it. Eh, y'all wrong. The Cardi B and Normani fans are not even blaming Nikki. If anything, y'all, they're blaming Camila Cabello. Because if you guys didn't know this, Camila Cabello came out with a song called Don't Go Yet. And y'all, she released it right after Normani announced her comeback. And if you guys don't know this, Camila and Normani used to have a little bit of an issue when they were in the Fifth Harmony group. So a lot of fans are speculating that Camilla could possibly be behind her Normani sabotage. Ciao. And if y'all didn't know this, Cardi B took to Twitter to defend Normani. She liked a couple of tweets supporting some fans' theories that Normani is indeed being set up and sabotaged. And y'all, the gag is that Cardi B liked these tweets right after a very public discussion on Twitter about Normani not being able to perform Wildside at the Jimmy Fallon show on the 20th of July. But so coincidentally y'all her set was canceled and guess what fans noticed that not only was her set canceled but three days later the Jimmy Fallon show found a new performer and guess who it was Camila Cabello now y'all even though our girl Normani did not respond to the claims of Camilla allegedly stealing her set at the Jimmy Fallon show she did respond to some people's claims of not being able to stream her music she took to Twitter to state believe I am just as pissed about the record not being found on streaming services so guys there could be some truth to this child I don't know what to think but I'm gonna leave it to y'all. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Do y'all really think that Normani is being sabotaged? Is someone out there really trying to get her? And do y'all think that it's Camila Cabello? Child, I don't know, but I really want y'all to tell me. And let me drop one more bomb before I go. Because word on the street is that RCA is getting ready to drop Normani from their label. And y'all, this is not the first time that RCA has done something shisty like this. They've also dropped Zayn from their label too. And at the time, Zayn was a really hot artist. So it's no surprise that they're trying to do this to Normani. Child, let me know what y'all think though. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and drop a comment down below. But on that note, I gotta go because I got another bomb to drop and y'all not gonna believe it.